My name is Ryan Nardine, and I'm the director of Blindfold. And this film has been a long time coming. When I was about nine or 10 years old, my mom and I used to go to this coffee shop in Minnesota. This man walks up to us and he sets down a small little paper crane on our table. Me being a very curious person, I wanted him to show me how it was made. <laughs> and he sat down in that moment and showed me how to fold the paper crane. For me, that was almost my first sense of what passion is. I had completely forgotten about Todd. One night I was just working on my computer, kind of clicking away. I can't exactly remember what sparked my memory, but I remembered Todd and what he had showed me. And, and in that moment, I knew I wanted to make a film about his life and kind of the hardship that he's been through. Ryan calls me up and he says, hey, do you want to go to Duluth, Minnesota in two days with Sam and I? And I was like, yeah, let me get back to you. Um, about an hour later, called him back and I was like, yeah, I'm in, like count me in, let's do it. And we got the okay from Todd. So two days later, we packed our bags and road trips straight out to Duluth. When we first set out to shoot Blindfold, our number one point was sound. Sound is half of the film experience. Todd relies a lot more on sound than the average person. So our main goal was to really promote the fact that sound is a key player in not just the film, but Todd's life as a whole. In this film, everything was either handheld or on a tripod because handheld gives a film a more gritty, raw experience versus if you're shooting everything on you know, a Mobi or a gimbal, it can almost be too stable. And his life is, has not been stable. Blindfold is a film about a man who, after you know, everything could go wrong, finding this inner peace through origami. It's about a man who is taking what life has given him and he's making the most out of it.